I'll see the sun A rooster crows for day And every time I see that gal She always looks away Hell, she always looks away Hold on Baby, just hold on I'll be coming home Back where I belong Hold on, baby Baby, just hold on I must say that thus far, using the Huberwood zip system has gone as good as it could have. The zip system panels seem to be much better quality than the traditional OSB. Thank goodness we got all of our materials picked up before the price of lumber went through the roof. As much as I enjoy framing, 
I'm ready to be done with it and I'm ready to get the roof on the shop and start working on the inside. I find myself thinking about all the different things that I plan on doing inside the shop, but I've got to get the roof on first. I didn't have a boom lift when I did the roof on the house. I manually carried every sheet of OSB from the back of my truck, inside the downstairs, then from the downstairs to the upstairs, then from the upstairs up through each and every one of the rafters until I got the OSB in place and nailed it off. because the roof on the house is a 20 foot span, it was doable. It wasn't that big of a deal. But having the boom lift here to do the shop has saved me loads and loads of time. Once the zip system is in place, all that I have to do at that point is seal every joint with the zip system tape. And then I can put the metal roofing directly on the zip system, although I will end up putting an underlayment in between. But with the zip system, the underlayment is not required. My personal opinion is the Huber Wood zip system is the future. I deliberately waited until the afternoon before I started installing the tape. I wanted the tape and the surface of the roof to be warm before I started installing the tape, but the tape can be installed down to zero degrees. It's super important that once the tape is in place that the Huber Wood rollers be used on top of that, which you'll see here shortly. As much as we love the corrugated tin look, I don't think I'm gonna use it on the shop. Truthfully, I don't know if corrugated tin is the best decision for roofing. Corrugated tin has been around forever and it's basically a catch-all. It can be used for anything. But I plan on using roofing tin for the shop, hopefully something that matches the house. Okay, all you gardeners know that when you plant zucchini, you got zucchini coming out your ears, right? You end up giving it to your neighbors and your friends because you can't even stand looking at it anymore. Well, I'm gonna make a zucchini relish. That's what I end up doing with my, the little stuff we end up eating and the big stuff um, I use and save for my relish. Uh, you can also use cucumbers for this, but we got like four cucumbers this year, so I'm not gonna be using any of that. And um, I have some massive <laughs> zucchinis 
And some of them are ours, the Gold Rush ones that we got, they, they're these, they're huge. Um, they're the ones that were like hiding that I didn't know they were there and I should have used them a long time ago. But anyways, so I've never used the Gold Rush zucchini before. I'm gonna try that um, in this recipe um, mixed with some of the green zucchini. And some of these zucchinis I got from my friend too because she had some she needed to get rid of. And we got a good amount, but not enough to do the relish. And we love this relish on everything, but mostly on our eggs in the morning. It sounds really weird, but um, it's really good. So we're gonna try that. Here we go. This is just all the seeds and stuff. This is the stuff my chickens are gonna love. Over the years, Cedar has worked very hard to learn many traditional recipes that I grew up eating, from old-fashioned whole wheat bread to bottling her own relish. She recognizes this is something that we enjoy eating. She recognizes how healthy it is for our family, and she works hard every year to make this stuff for us. It seems like the old ways are being forgotten every day and anything that we can do to incorporate some of the old traditions into our life, we strive to do. There's so many different recipes on the internet. This particular recipe is a recipe that she has used for many, many years. Some of her recipes have history in the family while some of them came off of Pinterest. Either way, she's figured out what our family enjoys and she works hard to provide this for us. At a minimum, eating Cedar's relish is going to give us a little shot of vitamin C that the world seems to be short on right now. And hopefully this will help me avoid a bout with scurvy or anything else for that matter. I'd been watching this 1948 Harley Davidson S125 on the local Facebook page for the last few weeks and I finally decided to go and pick it up.
These old single-cylinder Harleys are often referred to as Hummers. I kept telling myself that getting my hands on a barn fresh post-World War II Harley like this, even though this particular Harley is not worth that much money, just doesn't happen that much anymore, especially right here in my neck of the woods. And I decided that whether I restore this or simply hang it over the pool table, it would be a great conversation piece at a minimum. These old single cylinder Harleys don't have a whole lot of value even completely restored, but maybe one day they will. For what I paid for it, I feel good about it and it'll sit in the corner until the shop is finished. And then like I said, hopefully it starts its new life as the one-off billiards light over our pool table. Now what I've learned as I've been installing the zip tape is to put the tape up first and then go back and roll it down with the roller. I followed Huberwood's instructions for the stretch tape around the windows before installing the windows. I would have loved to install the same windows that we installed on the house here in the shop. The same color, the same grid pattern, but the truth is they were six weeks out and they were almost three times the cost of just the standard four foot by four foot dual pane window. And these windows I could buy off the shelf. When I framed the shop up, I tried to keep the dimensions of the windows pretty standard so that it wouldn't be that difficult to find windows. Little did I know that there would be a shortage because of demand on just about all building materials right in the middle of me building my shop. Regardless, I was able to pick up the windows that I need for the shop. The plan is to do a board and batten siding over the top of the zip panels once the windows and all the zip tape is installed.
because the price of lumber is so high right now, I may hold off for a little while, but I want the shop and the house to look the same. The plan is to hopefully install the board and batten siding at some point over winter. Let the wood finish curing and drying out. In early spring or midsummer of next year, I'll stain the shop to match the house. Come this time next week, I'll have all the doors installed and hopefully I'll have figured out which garage door we're going to be using. Sanitizer for my nose. <laughs> What's this world come to? <laughs>